Breaking news right now, more details on President Trump's firing of FBI Director James Comey under the recommendation of Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Joining me now to discuss Scott Blackman, Tammy Bruce, Rich Lowry, DeRoy Murdoch, Mark Serrano, and Ned Ryan. Uh, let's talk uh, uh, about potential replacements. You have, a, you have an idea. Right. Well, uh, this is not a prediction. This is a really a, a nomination, and that is Rudolph W. w. Giuliani, former mayor of New York, a, uh, an alumnus of the Department of Justice. He was a, a deputy attorney general, I believe, under Reagan, a uh, U.S. attorney here in New York City, a man who put away uh, mafiosi, people on Wall Street who were involved in insider trading, uh, and obviously somebody who's probably the, the most uh, skilled and experienced counterterrorist in the country. Uh, he, of course, was very close to Trump. He was a, a Trump campaign surrogate, so that would raise a lot of questions. But apart from that, I think he'd be an enormously talented person to come in and, and clean up the mess at the FBI and restore confidence in that organization. If you could abstract from the political environment, that would be a great pick. But I, I, I think Trump, with this pick, has to go, and I say this about no pick ever, he has to go boring, he has to go respected, he has to go bipartisan. And Reagan had a choice like this with an FBI director late in his term. He went with Judge Sessions, who was respected by his critics, not a very exciting figure. He was criticized as being dull and plotting, but had the respect of all sides. And I, I think that's what's called here. Oh. Lindsey Graham is weighing in. He, uh, he, uh, he's still one of the leading uh, guys out there. He wants to see more of an investigation into Russia's interference. And of course, uh, but he does support President Trump on this. And he goes out and says, the next FBI director must be strong and independent and will receive a fair hearing in the Judicial Committee. Uh, let me go to Josh Blackman. Josh, what are your thoughts on this? This is a, an extraordinarily important decision for the next FBI director. It really is, Charles. Um, at bottom, the FBI director serves the president's pleasure, and he's responsible for conducting many investigations and not just over Hillary's emails. And if the president decides that he's lost confidence in that director, the only remedy is to terminate him. Um, but now we've moved to the other branch of government. To get another director confirmed, both Republicans and Democrats must agree on this person. So the Senate has a strong check on who the president picks to replace Comey. So this is more of a political decision than one of a constitutional nature. Tammy, uh, again, uh, the, the, the discussion in D.C. on the political side will be uh, the, the continued Russian investigation, uh, James, uh, and, and the next FBI director, uh, do they have to pick that up? Well, I, no matter I, where it is. I mean, we keep hearing over yeah. and over there's no evidence. Nevertheless, they haven't closed well, it. Well, this will be interesting because with so many political decisions coming from Comey's office, and with uh, and the, the president said in his letter, you have told me repeatedly that this is not an issue. Clapper yesterday said that we found no uh, collusion, that maybe the next one will, in fact, be able to come to a conclusion and make a statement one way or the other. Whoever goes in is only going to be able to make that decision seeing where it has been up to this point. Uh, and that's going to have to be a person again who's respected enough to whatever their decision is, especially to conclude it, is going to be accepted by everyone. Because at this point, we might as well be told that it was men from Mars that interfered with the election, and no one's going to believe it until someone they trust tells them that's not true. Yeah, Mark Serrano, it is absolutely amazing that it's dragged on this long, and we've had uh, all of these hearings, and so many people go to Capitol Hill, and they can't say much because of secrets and uh, classified material, but. They can tell us nothing at all. In other words, they've not been able to connect any dots officially yet. No, and, and so, so this is the Democrat strategy, Charles. Continue to talk about Russian collusion because it keeps everyone off balance and continue to pressure Republicans to either recuse themselves or step away from investigations. They were successful, uh, you know, in the House. And so they're going to continue. They were successful with pressuring Sessions to do it. And that's their entire strategy. Get Republicans to cower, but they are not. They have not seen the very beginning of Donald Trump deal with them on this issue. He's going to continue counterpunching against them, and I think he's going to get very, very creative with this appointment to the FBI. I think he's going to make it very difficult. Frankly, I, I think wish he would take a look at Senate Democrats so we can get one of those <laughs> and get one vote, you know, pushing his direction. Uh, Ned Ryan, uh, uh, we got to communicate from Senator Ed, Edward J. Markey of uh, Massachusetts. Uh, it goes on to say, quote, this episode is disturbingly reminiscent of the Saturday Night Massacre yeah, during the Watergate scandal that. That and the national <laughs> oh turmoil that it caused. Oh, we are careening oh, ever closer to a constitutional crisis, oh, and this boy. development only underscores why we must appoint 
a special prosecutor to yeah. fully investigate any dealing the Trump campaign or administration had uh, with Russia. Uh, Ned, are you drama. shocked at this I mean, communication? The drama. The night massacre. This, this, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Again, such a hyperbolic statement. Please get some perspective. FBI director serves at the pleasure of the president. He's completely <laughs> lost the confidence of the president. I think the thing that uh, Trump's going to have to do, Charles, is... I mean, a lot of people at the Bureau are, have been embarrassed by Comey's behavior. They feel that he's politicized this way too much. He's got to find somebody, as, as the other panelists have been saying, that can put the trust back in the Bureau that it's not going to be overly politicized, that it's actually going to play it straight, that you're not going to see. Charles, I want to have an FBI director who I don't see in the press every day, and so we've got to have somebody that's serious, respected by both sides. But I will say this. You know, they keep on going after this Russia thing. It's like the binky they put themselves to sleep with at night. There's nothing there. <laughs> it comforts them to help them put to sleep, but it keeps them from right. the reality of why they've lost and why they keep losing. Yeah, maybe an FBI director who's not going to Hollywood premieres, although we understand that FBI's image could use a major shot in the arm. Josh, let me ask you this, though. What would be wrong with a special independent prosecutor or investigator into this uh, to, to really perhaps come to a conclusion that would, would be irrefutable by both sides and put it to bed forever? Well, thanks to the Watergate investigation, we no longer have a truly independent prosecutor. Uh, any special prosecutor serves at the pleasure of the Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, who I think would have to recuse because it involves Russia, so it goes back to Rod Rosenstein. Um, so, so any uh, special prosecutor we have would not be truly independent and would not make anyone happy. Uh, but one note on the Saturday Night Massacre, um, Nixon didn't actually fire anyone. People don't quite appreciate this. Nixon had asked some of his subordinates to fire the special prosecutor, uh, so the analogy really doesn't even fit. Uh, Tammy, what do, you, what do you make of it? I mean, they're coming, they're coming quickly, huh? Yeah, but now look, uh, if we were to do this, when we, or, when we have an FBI with agents who know what they're doing, a Department of Justice with very good people, if we were to demand, it would, we'd have to be doing special prosecutors for every single thing, because then the statement is you can't trust the infrastructure as, as it is. The point should be to really remake with one individual, an FBI that can be trusted, uh, uh, the DOJ, we're at least bringing trust back into there, you know, at least we've got a, a Obama had a, a, a an attorney general who was found in contempt of Congress I mean we've we've got to bring back the rule of law within what we have what the Democrats want is the show pony of hearings and of a special prosecutor it has everything to do with politics and nothing to do with the rule of law 